Hello all, welcome to another session on JavaScript. In this session, we'll be trying to understand certain methods of the document object. We look at the methods get element by ID, get elements by class name, and get elements by tag name. We'll quickly run through some code and understand the use of these methods. Let's uh, start with the code. So this is a demo on certain methods like uh, get element by ID, get elements by class name, and get elements by tag name. We'll start off with a very simple HTML page here. We'll give the title as uh, document object methods demo. What, what is that I'm going to have in this web page is three simple developments. So let me start with the first development. We'll have an ID for this development as D1. We'll have a class for this element. Uh, class for this element as uh, div1. Likewise, I'm going to have three. Let me replicate this. And here ID is D2. Here ID is D3. Maybe I'll have one more div. And uh, for this ID is D4. Whereas it belongs to a different class called div2. So this is all I have. And what is that we are going to do here is access these div elements from within JavaScript using these methods. And then we'll try to populate some text as in our HTML and we'll try to style them. So we'll see how these methods are useful in accessing these elements. So let's start writing the script. So this is the script. The first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to access an element using its ID. So what is the ID for this element? It is D2. Let me access D2 and let me manipulate certain things for this development. So how to access an element using the ID for that you should use document object dot the method name is get element by ID. And you have to pass the ID. See ID is unique. So you can't have duplicate IDs inside a web page. So you get that element. So this is how you get this element and you can perform certain things like I can populate the inner HTML with certain text. This is some text. See the moment I perform you need to see the output here. So from within JavaScript, I'm accessing this specific development and populating some text as its inner HTML. So how did I access that using the method get element by ID. So we'll be able to access a specific method by using its ID field. So how many elements will be returned here just one element and you can also go ahead with the styling. Say let me perform some styling here document dot by ID. And then we can access the element D2. And uh, we can go with some styles style dot say if I want to change the font color. So I can do that. Like this. See, now you're able to see the change of font color here for this, uh, for the text inside this division with the ID D2. So you'll be able to access any specific element using its ID and you'll be able to manipulate that element. So that is the use of get element by ID. Now let's take a look at the next method get elements by class name. So the method name itself tells you what it means. You're going to get element by the class name. So class name is given here. One thing you have to understand is that there can be many elements with the same class name. So when you are accessing elements by class name, you're going to get a list of elements returned. So how is that we are going to deal with this? Say I'm going to access all the elements with the class name div1. So how to access that? It's again document document dot get elements by class name and what is the class name we are going to give here is div1 so this is how you access the elements but what is that we understand here is when we perform this we are going to get three elements being returned here so we have to capture those three elements let me get those three elements here and if i want to Say populate the inner HTML for all the three elements that are being written. I have to run some for loop, access every element and then change the inner HTML. Let me tell you how to perform that. Say for let i in k. Uh, I'm, going, I'm just going to perform this k of i. That's the first element dot inner HTML 
is equal to some text I am writing here. So you're able to see the output now. It's, it's getting all the three elements and we are uh, traversing those three elements and populating the inner HTML for all the elements using this simple for loop. So here k of 0 dot inner HTML is nothing but the first uh, division and k of 1 dot inner HTML is the next division and k of 2 dot inner HTML is the third division. So when you are using document uh, dot get elements by class name, what is that you are actually doing here is you are getting all the elements that have the same class name and you can style them or you can manipulate them all together at once. Say if I want to style these elements such that the font color is red for all these elements with the class name div1, I can very well perform this kfi dot style dot uh, color is equal to red. So you can very well see that all the elements with that class name add this font coloring to be red. You can do anything. You can apply a height with a background color. You can define some events. You can do a lot of things by accessing elements that have a specific class name. I hope you are able to follow this. Let's quickly move on to the next method. Get elements by tag name. So what is a tag? You know, you, you see div. This div is a tag. When you have a paragraph element, P is the tag. When you have a head, H1 header, you say H1 to be the tag. So you can access elements using a tag. So if I want to access all the divisions here, earlier I was accessing it using class names by uh, the name div1. So here what happened, we were able to access these three elements because only these three elements are the class name to be div1. Now when I am accessing it using the tag name div, how many elements are going to be written? You're going to have all the four elements written because all these four elements have the tag name to be div. So let's uh, uh, write code for that. Let's perform. Okay, now let's access all the elements with the tag name div. So you go with uh, document dot get uh, elements by tag name, and then you have to pass the tag name. What's the tag name here? In quotes, you give div. So you're going to get four elements that will be returned. And uh, when you're having many elements returned, you need to capture that let's capture it in this variable k and we'll run through a loop and uh, access all the elements that are being written let's uh, have the inner html for these elements to contain some text let's say hello how things are going on you see now four elements are getting uh, returned and four elements uh, inner HTML is getting populated with the text hello how things are going on so this is how you can access elements by the tag name say if I want to color them uh, apply some styles it's kfi dot uh, style dot uh, say let me give the font color let's give the font color to be red so immediately you can see the output here all the div elements with their content the font color got changed to red so I hope you are now clear with the difference between these three methods. Get element by ID always returns that specific element with that specific ID. Whereas get elements by class name will return all the elements with that specific class name. When you go with the tag name, it will return all the elements with that specific tag name. So it's useful in various scenarios. If you're working with just one element, you use get element by ID. If you want to style a set of elements with sharing the same class name, use get elements by class name. Uh, if you're planning to style all the elements uh, that pertain to a specific tag, you use get elements by tag name. With that, we have come to an end of this session. I hope you were able to follow the concepts. If you have any questions, you can leave your comments below and we'll carry forward with the other concepts in the next session. Thank you for listening.